Hey guys, let's do the 2013 AP Calc AB FRQ number one. So this FRQ just deals with the gravel factory at which gravel is arriving at a certain rate and it's being processed at a certain rate in tons per hour. So the first question is finding G prime of five and interpreting your answer. So G, the function G is the rate at which gravel is arriving. So finding the actual G prime of five shouldn't be too difficult. You can just use your calculator. You press math and then eight to do a derivative. So d dx, and then the function is just 90 plus 45 um, cosine of t squared over 18 um, x, at x equals 5. And you should get negative 24.58 um, 7. Or 588 and remember to just have three decimal places after because that's what the calc the frq wants and the second part of this question is to interpret your answer in the context of this problem so this is might be kind of confusing because usually when you look at the function for a rate you expect some sort of derivative or like a g prime but the g is already a rate and when you're finding the derivative you're just finding the rate so in this case you're finding the rate of a rate which sounds kind of weird but um that's what it is. So basically the rate at which gravel is arriving, that's this rate here. This rate, the rate is decreasing um, at another rate of 24.588 because um, this is just what we found by taking the derivative and it doesn't have to be negative because you said decreasing um, tons per hour. And this is just this rate here. It's already in tons per hour. But since you're taking the derivative of a rate, you have another per hour. So the rate is changing at a separate rate. Um, that is shouldn't be too difficult. Um, maybe interpreting rates and derivatives is kind of hard but you just have to understand that the derivative is the rate of something okay part b deals with the total amount of unprocessed gravel that arrives so if this is the rate at which it arrives then you know that the total is just a sum and to find the sum you do an integral and it says during the hours of operation the hours of operation are from zero to eight so you simply do the integral from zero to eight and the function g of t and then don't forget your dt because if you just have the integral you should be able to get a point so even if you don't know like how to do it just like guess an integral and you should be okay and then again use your handy graphing calculator to do integral on uh, math 9 from 0 to 8 and then g of t again 90 plus 45 cosine of t squared over 18 dt and you get 825.551 um and because it's just asking for the amount of gravel then you know that your units are just tons all right um now the next two parts may be a little bit harder um part c and d Part C is asking, is the amount of unprocessed gravel that arrives with plant increasing or decreasing at t equals 5 hours? And you should show your work. So, um, so basically, you want to know if it's increasing or decreasing. So you can just use like the first derivative test, basically, which is, or just by using the first derivative. Because if the derivative is positive, then it's increasing. If it's negative, it's decreasing. So that's not too hard either, actually. So it's just g of 5, because g is the rate, right? And g of 5 equals, and you can just plug it that into your calculator. I hope you know how to do that. But you get mm, 98.141. And actually, that's not the answer because it's asking for the amount of unprocessed gravel. And this is the rate at which it's coming in. But um, of course, that should always be positive because, but actually, the plant. I don't really like this question because it says the plant is processing gravel at a constant rate. So actually, this means that the unprocessed gravel is actually 
being turned into a process gravel, which means it's being lessened. So if it's coming in at this rate and it's going out at 100 tons per hour, well, it's coming in at a smaller rate than it's going out. So um, basically it is decreasing thing because the rate at which unprocessed gravel is arriving is less than the rate at which it's being pro um, pro processed. Uh, yeah. Which is, I don't really like this question because it's, the wording is just kind of confusing. Um, okay, so part D, I think, is the biggest part of this FRQ. It's the hardest, but we can do it. Um, so part D is asking the maximum amount of unprocessed gravel in the plant. So again, the unprocessed gravel means the amount coming in minus the amount going out of, or being processed. And so to find maximums, um, to find absolute maximums, you test endpoints and the critical numbers, right? That's just what this question is. But first you have to find in some sort of equation for which, uh, for the amount of unprocessed gravel. So let's just call that A of T. And you'll find that A of T because, okay, let's just try and work this out. If the plant starts with 500 tons, that's like initial value, so it's your constant that you add on. So you can start with 500. And after that, you know that it's coming in at this rate, right? Um, so you can do an integral plus the integral because it's coming in. So if you add it um, from zero, right? Because that's when it starts. But until when? Until t, because it's a function of t. You don't know what. And then um, you do uh, g of t. But then you also have to subtract in the integral of the rate at which it's leaving, which is just 100. Oh, I should call this, sorry. Um, actually, no, this is good. Uh, but yeah, and then you can combine these two integrals. So minus 100. Um, dt and all right so this is your equation for the amount of unprocessed gravel and remember to find critical numbers you take the derivative of this so the 500 is constant it becomes zero and then to do this you just use the uh, fundamental theor um, theorem of calculus and you just plug the t back in right so it should just be g of t minus 100 so then to find the critical numbers you set this equal to zero and uh, you can put this into your calculator again by doing math and then solve, which is just press up and then enter, and then just enter your two equations, which I'm not going to do here, but uh, let's just say x or something, and then you can uh, find out um, what the critical numbers are. But basically, if you put that in, you'll find that t equals 4.923. So that's a critical number. But remember, for absolute maximum, we have to test critical numbers and endpoints. So let's just make a chart, maybe, of, um, let's say, t and a of t. So the time and the amount of gravel at that time. So the endpoints are 0 and 8, the beginning and the end of the workday. And then the critical number in between is 4.9235. And then remember your function, a of t. It was this crazy thing we came up with. Um, this function here. So you just plug that in with your calculator and then you should be able to find that, uh, oh, at zero, you know, it's 500 because it says in the question. Um, here it's 635.376 and here it's 525.551 tons. So, you know, because this is the largest one, you know that the uh, maximum amount of gravel is 525.551 tons. Thanks, and I hope that helps. And if you want extra practice, uh, please look at the description below. Thank you.